good morning again from Alaska. I'm Bryn and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in for part three, the final part of this commercial halibut fishing series. If you missed part one and two, I'll add links here and in the description so you can catch up on the whole trip. Well, last night at about 3.30 p.m. yesterday afternoon, we started hauling our first set of eight skates for about 300 pounds. Ran over to our other set of eight for six hundred. So bigger fish in that one. And then after we hauled last night, we set another eight on the other side of the sound. Ran over to the other side and anchored up. Now we woke up at 5 a.m. And then this morning we're setting nine over here. We're going to go run over there and haul the eight that we set last night. So excuse my tiredness in that last update, I obviously still needed more coffee. Anyway, during this trip we had an alternator issue, so we stopped at Pipus Point Lodge for gas for a generator that was helping us charge the boat batteries at the time. It's a beautiful spot, um, very secluded, check it out sometime. a lot of fun putting this part of the video together, um, making it look a little bit more old school. Ironically, I love jazz and my dad's not super into it, so hopefully he gets a chuckle out of this portion of the video. Um, most of the time we are listening to classic rock or heavy metal while out on deck. Sometimes Tina will throw on some country, sometimes I'll mix it up with some pop, hip hop, stuff like that. It's fun to mix it up and keep things light and interesting.
All right, so we're back into the GoPro footage now. So warning for sensitive viewers, it may make some people a little bit dizzy. This is footage of Tegan cleaning out a halibut. First, he's gonna go through and cut out the gills and take out the internal organs and then reach back to the back of the halibut and pull out the reproductive organs. And then he'll take the knife and cut the bloodline there and scrape out all the blood and then more forward in the halibut. He scrapes the sweetmeat out. The sooner the halibut get bled and dressed, the better they taste. The blood is kind of what makes the fish tastes fishy um, and then after the set we rinse out all the fish and put them down in the hold nice and clean and icy.
So as you can see here with this larger halibut, Tegan tied a line to the end of the tail. It helps to lift up the halibut onto the table. Sometimes you'll have a guy on one end of the fish with the tail and a guy on the other end with the head and both lift from each end so it's easier to get the fish up there. So obviously some halibut are really strong. This big one, Tegan, was having a harder time getting it to loosen up its jowls there. So it really had to cut into the head. And a couple fun facts about halibut, um, Pacific halibut specifically, they can weigh up to 500 pounds. I've personally seen up to a 300 pound halibut get caught on the fishing vessel Zeus. Um, they can reach up to eight feet long and have a life expectancy up to 55 years. So a little backstory for you. Originally this trip was set to be at least three days long. It was cut short by a day and coming home I realized I was pretty bummed once I got off the boat realizing once again just how much I love fishing. Uh, since I'm raising a family of my own now I make it on a trip out maybe once or twice a year but it's always a highlight of my summer and awesome quality time with my dad and in this case my brother. This footage was taken from day two, part two, but I forgot to add it in the last video. And 
I like this footage so much um, as an example showing what it looks like after set to clean up the roasted halibut and throw them down in the fish hold. Thanks for tuning in for part three of this three-part commercial halibut fishing series. If you missed parts one and two, there are links in the description. If you're interested in purchasing pristine seafood out of Petersburg, Alaska, check out greatfishaak.com and head there to sign up for our newsletter for the latest updates on our wild-caught Alaskan seafood. Please like and subscribe here on my channel for more authentic Alaskan lifestyle content and music. This is Bryn in Alaska, signing out. Until next time, sailor, may God bless you.